Blaco pulsation dampeners should be used on every type of positive displacement pump, depending upon the application. We are going to demonstrate for you how a Blaco dampener can be used on several different applications and with various types of positive displacement pumps. This demonstration is comprised of a one inch air operated double diaphragm pump fitted with a Blaco pulsation dampener with the adjustable air control on the pump discharge. There are three keys to pulsation dampening. There are size, location, and charge. The size of the pulsation dampener is based on type of pump, volume per stroke of the pump, and the desired percentage of dampening. Location should be as close to the pump discharge as possible within 10 pipe diameters. The dampener should not be mounted on any branches or any type of risers. You want it as close to the fluid flow as possible. The third key component is the air charge. An overcharged dampener will not be effective. The air charge internally should be a few pounds less than the pump discharge pressure. Remember, compressed air or clean, dry nitrogen can be used to charge the dampener, but never use oxygen. On installation, the dampener can be installed horizontally or upside down as pressure is equal in all directions. Vertical is the preference especially with a slurry or solids laden product. When I turn the pump on, you'll see the pipe shaking, vibrating, and a pulsing flow. This flow comes from the pump by itself without the dampener. You'll see the pipe vibrating and a pulsating flow is foaming and splashing the product. When we introduce the dampener into the system, you see the pipe lays flat. Nice smooth laminar flow, no splashing or shaking. By eliminating the pulsating flow, the pulsation dampener protects system piping from fatigue, protects gauges, enhances meter performance, protects transducers, switches, protects filter media, filter bags, and any other inline instrumentation.